Hey guys, and welcome to today's Tech Talk Tuesday. So guys, today in Tech Talk Tuesday, we are talking about this, the Nook HD Plus. So Barnes & Noble has recently slashed prices of the Nook HD Plus, and by slashed, I mean slashed. This is a 9-inch tablet, I believe, almost 10 inches, and it is only $150. Super duper duper cheap, and it is a nice tablet, dual core, I mean, it's got everything you need, and it's got an amazingly nice display. Um, the only thing it doesn't have is a camera, which honestly, not a big deal for me. So. I mean, people are snatching these up because it's such an amazing deal, and I went ahead and I snatched one up too. Because frankly, I can sell my Nexus 7 for like the same price as I just paid for this. So why not do that, right? Um, although the Nook by itself is pretty cool, um, I, I'm a nerd and I wanted hacked. So I want to run the latest and greatest stock version of Android, so I'm going to put CyanogenMod 10.1 on it. And the hacking process is like super duper simple on these suckers. So. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. Okay guys, so here is our Virgin Nook HD. So let's open this sucker up. Ta-da! And there it is, guys. Super nice. I'm going to go ahead and rip the plastic off. So this comes basically with a small little quick start guide. Um, and it comes with a power brick and a USB thing. And it's got a special... It doesn't run micro USB like a normal Android device. It's got its special little kind of iPhone-ish looking adapter. Um, so they got that in there too and we're gonna go ahead and just move this aside because we are not concerned with that at the moment okay guys so I'm gonna go ahead and let this boot up a bit so to do this hack it's actually very very simple it's actually easier than hacking your phone what you need is an SD card specifically a micro SD card one of these little suckers um, at least four gigabytes and what you have to do is you have to download an image which you then put onto this SD card and then you can boot off the SD card and once you've done that um, then you can go ahead and flash um, a new recovery on it, you can flash your custom ROM on it um, and flash Google Apps on it and that is exactly what we're going to be doing here. This is the welcome screen, hi welcome to Nook all that good stuff but like I said we are not going to be doing this so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off Okay guys, so the micro SD card slot and oh hey look you can see me. So the micro SD card slot in this is right here in the bottom. And you just pull out the little rubber piece. Ta-da. And then we can go ahead and slip in our SD card. Ta-da. And power this sucker back up. Now you'll see that it's got a Cyan Engine mod, Cyan Boot screen and this is going to go ahead and boot up into Clockwork Mod is what it's going to do. Okay, there we go. Piece of cake. And like all Clockwork Mods, um, you work it by doing the volume keys to go up and down. Um, enter is the Nook button in this one and back is the power button. So we are going to do install zip from SD card. Um, choose zip from SD card and I put a directory in here called zips and first I'm going to flash TWRP recovery and then it makes you verify install there we go do 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 do, do. installing installing done okay so now we're going to choose another zip from SD card from our zips directory and this time we can see up there cm 10.1 unofficial for ovation ovation is the nook hd plus go ahead and install that this one takes a bit longer because obviously it's the operating system so it's a bit bigger okay so now we're going to choose another zip from our zips directory and this time we're installing gaps the Google Plus apps. Say yes, install my gaps. Installing, copying files, and done. So we're going to go ahead and go back 
And the final thing you have to do before you can reboot so it doesn't explode is wipe data slash factory reset. You have to do this, otherwise it will not boot up properly because it's going to still try to boot up some Nook things. So now we're formatting data, formatting cache. All right, perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this SD card, I'm going to pop it out because I don't want it to boot from the SD card anymore. Okay, take that out. Go ahead and close this cover because I'm not messing with an SD card anymore. And now I'm going to go to Reboot System. So this is the second one I've done and I've noticed that the boot animation is a bit wonky in the beginning, but then it'll figure out the screen size and it'll fix itself. There we go. So now CyanogenMod is booting and ta-da! We are done, people. Wasn't that easy? All right, guys, so if you were interested in picking up a $150 nine inch tablet that is like super awesome and fast, then I totally recommend going this route because as you can see, it was super duper easy to do. So guys, let me know if any of you out there have rooted your Nook HD Plus and tell, let me know how it went for you guys. Um, any new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. I love you guys. And to my people who are not subscribed yet, click on that little subscribe button so you get my videos every single day. And you guys remember to click the thumbs up button if you like this video, if you like my Tech Talk Tuesdays, if you like, if you're a hacker, thumbs up this video too. If you like, if you believe in stock vanilla Android instead of, you know, all that custom crap, give me a thumbs up. Till next time, guys. Love and bubbles.